to my channel thank you so much for coming back to see me this is officially well i'm almost two weeks post out for my vsg surgery whoop, whoop, whoop. i am so excited honestly this is like one of the best things i have done for my health and i mean i don't know if you guys can tell you know <laughs> not just but i have been losing some weight like these scrubs i think i actually have a video in these scrubs and you can like kind of see the difference but these scrubs used to be like super super tight on me like you know like real like skin tight and now they're a lot baggy and i can actually like roll this so there's plenty of room in the uh in my scrubs these are a 3x um and i can't wait to go to the store and buy a 2x because it's been forever okay like forever since your girl has bought a 2x but you know this is a three and i'm like oh stop oh it's kind of loose in here <laughs> i'm so happy this has honestly been one of the best decisions i have made in regards to my health i feel well actually i'll start like from the beginning about my surgery and how everything went and I know it's kind of like been a while, like I haven't posted an update because I kind of like been going through the motions. Like I kind of wanted to experience this and like, I don't know how to really, I don't know really how to explain it, but I kind of just wanted to like go through the motions and see, you know, so tomorrow makes officially two weeks since I had my surgery. I had my surgery May 14th and I had the best surgeon in the world. He is so great. He's so nice and everything. And um, so I go to the hospital. Now my recovery was a little rough. I'm not gonna lie to you. It hurt worse for me. Like my C-sections, the first time they put me to sleep and they, you know, they cut me up, ugh, the worst pain I ever felt. But like the recovery, I feel like from my, my C-sections were a lot more easier than it was from my VSG surgery. I don't know if you guys can hear my kids in the background, but pay them no mind. But anyways, so my recovery from my VSG, oh my gosh, it was painful. Like I would get stomach cramps. It felt like my stomach was tightening and tightening and then release. Tighten, tighten, tighten and re then release. I am happy to say I'm not getting no stomach cramps anymore. Whew. Thank God because they were the worst. And then I find like as soon as I got out of the hospital, they only gave me Tylenol and then they gave me like oxycodone. I'm not a pill person like that. I don't like to take medicine like that. I kind of rather, I kind of actually like to feel the pain. I know that sounds kind of weird, but it kind of makes me feel like I'm human. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I think it took me like four days, three or four days after I got out of the hospital and I was only taking the Tylenol because uh, the little oxy, oh my God, it made me so sick. I felt like so much nausea. It was horrible. And then I'm going to tell you some stuff that nobody tells you. I feel like they leave all this stuff out. This is my experience with my VSG and this is coming from me. Okay, so I get to the hospital. I feel like I'm jumping all over the place, but you can like follow along if you want to. So anyways, I get to the hospital, May 14th. My surgery was, I had to be there at 9.30. And I think they were gonna do my surgery like 11.30. I was his third case for the day. And when I got to the hospital, everything was cool. We signed in, me and my hubby, we signed in. And I'm, you know, changing my clothes and everything. So that, that morning before I got to the hospital, I took my blood pressure pill. My blood pressure pill is a diuretic or was a diuretic because I'm not on it no more. <laughs> so anyways, it was a diuretic. So I was a little nervous about, you know, having to go like pee so much. And I was like, I really don't want a catheter. I'm not a fan of a catheter. So I was like going to the bathroom every chance I get because I don't want it to empty out my bladder. And you can, uh, you have to fast for two hours. Like you can't drink anything. So they let me, uh, but anyways, I, I stopped drinking period, you know, because I was like, I don't want to be like going to the bathroom or, you know, something happens when I'm like knocked out or whatever. 
So I'm laying in the bed. The nurse comes in. She's like, you know what? I'm going to give you some stuff to, you know, help you help you out a little bit. So I was like, okay, okay, okay. We ready. We, we ready. So I'm laying in the bed. She puts whatever she did in my IV. Your girl was out. I was like, whoa. It hit me like quick. I was like, oh my gosh. Like, it, it happened so freaking fast. Next thing you know, they're willing me to like the operating room. I'm like looking around. I feel like I'm all like loopy and stuff, you know? And next thing you know, I woke up and I was in recovery. And it wasn't like immediate pain. And I was also worried about my throat and them sticking the tube down my throat. But honestly, I did not have any pain with my throat. My stomach pain, it was there. It was, you know, it was noticeable. They kept asking me, are you okay? Do you need more medicine? So at the time, you know, I was like, yeah, you know, just, I want to feel like normal. So they were, you know, giving me my meds is normal. And um, the next day when I woke up, I pretty much slept that whole day. I slept my butt off. Like I was really tired. I was exhausted. I walked a little bit, but not as much as I should have. Then the second day, the doctor comes in, or it wasn't my surgeon. I guess it was like the doctor who does like the rounds in the hospital. Actually, I haven't seen my surgeon since surgery, by the way, which is, I think it's kind of like messed up. Like, how come I didn't see you? But anyways, the people who were in the room with him came to check on me. And so like, you know, they were doing their rounds or whatever. And he was like, you know what? You're doing pretty good. I think you're ready to go home. And I was like, oh my God, like I just had surgery yesterday. You think I'm ready to go home? So I'm like, well, okay, you're the doctor. So he's like, just make sure you're getting up, doing your rounds or whatever. And like, you know, on the floor. So I was getting up and I was walking as much as I could. And it like helped with the gas pain. Now people were saying that they get gas pain like in their shoulder and in their chest area. I was fortunate. I didn't get a lot of gas pain in my chest area. It was all like in my stomach, like I was telling you. It's like a tightness and then it releases like a, it was the worst pain. It was like kind of stomach cramps. It kind of feels like contractions. That's honestly what it feels like. It's like a tightness and then it releases, uh, tightness and then it releases. So I kept, I kept getting those. And then, like I said, that, um, the oxy pill, it made me nauseous. So when I was in the hospital, the that same day when they were giving me, they get, were giving me, I think Tylenol and Oxys or something like, I don't really remember. I was kind of loopy, but I remember getting up to go to the bathroom and I threw up. Now they don't tell you, but like I threw up blood, but it wasn't like bright red blood. It wasn't like, you know, that kind of blood. It was like a dark, like uh, old blood. You know what I'm saying? So, and I, everybody left that part out. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, I guess you got to, your body is like, oh, like, it's rejecting it. So, you know, you empty it out. But your girl threw up some dried blood. And it was kind of, it was kind of horrible. It was kind of scary. But, you know, I think I did it, like, two or three times. And I was like, oh, my God, is this normal? So, um, hold on. Give me one second. Okay. Sorry about that. So, like I was saying, I threw up blood, like, two or three times. And that was really, really scary for me. I was like, oh, my gosh. Like, I honestly felt like I made a horrible decision at that point because it's so scary. Like, who wants to throw up, like, dried blood and it tastes horrible? Horrible. So, after that, that following day, when the day that they were going to release me, um, I was drinking my protein shakes. I was able to hold down more. And I honestly felt like... I even still to this point I'm able to hold down more than a lot of people like I'm in a like a support group on Facebook and I feel like people are like oh my gosh I can drink two ounces and I'm full and I'm like I'm really I don't have that full sensation and I feel like you know I don't know if I'm like missing something but I don't have that sensation yet you know what I'm saying like I'll drink something and I'll get full but it's not going to be off two ounces or like four ounces like I'm drinking every couple minutes and i'm you know by the time i'm i notice i'm done with the whole bottle so i'm like i don't know if it's because i'm greedy <laughs> i don't know if it's because he didn't take out a lot of my stomach oh and i do have incisions but i'm not going to show you my stomach on here no so i got one right here i have like three right here i don't have none in my belly button they're all kind of high like it's from here to right here that's where all my incision my incisions are so um I'm pretty happy about that because I see people get cut like right above their belly button for them to pull their stomach out. So no, my biggest scar is honestly, it's right here. 
and I feel like that's where they, you know, pulled my stomach, oh my so like my biggest incision. And then uh, let's see. So I left from the hospital and recovery was rough for me. Um, I kind of like laid around the house. I took only a week off from work. And I mean, I kind of just like laid around. I, the only time I would really walk is to do stuff around the house or, you know, to, like with my babies to change diapers and stuff like that. So I wasn't, I haven't really like went to go walk a mile and all that other stuff. Like, no, I, my, rec I was in pain, but again, I really didn't take like the Tylenol and stuff like that. Cause I kind of, like I said, it makes me feel like I'm human to like kind of feel the pain. So I really, I'm not like a pill pain person or whatever so i kind of like suffered through it and then it took me about i will honestly say i think six days five or six days post-op then i was like oh you know i kind of feel like i'm back to normal like i it's kind of like you don't even remember that you had surgery it's so weird to say but like five to six days post-op i was like oh yeah this is nice it's not as bad as i thought so I went back to work on day seven and I powered through it. It was, you know, I, I did feel a little weak though, because you're only drinking your protein shakes and it's kind of, it's not fulfilling. I'm going to be the one to tell you it's not fulfilling. And then like, I hear a lot of people say that their hunger is gone. I have never been so hungry in my life. Like these two weeks. Oh my God. I thought pre-op was hard. These two weeks, my surgeon has me on a liquid, full liquid diet. These are the hardest two weeks. I have never watched so many mukbang videos in my life. I've been sitting here watching Tay and Lou. I've been watching B Loves. I've been watching Prissy P. I've been watching all these mukbang videos about like them eating. There's this other lady too. Oh my God. Oh, it's so good. I had just been sitting here watching their videos and them like devour food. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so hungry. But then, uh, you know, the people, they're like, oh, it's just head hunger. I'm like, but no, I hear my stomach like bubbling, er, like it's calling out, like you need to eat something. So it's kind of right now, because I'm like two weeks, I kind of don't know if it's head hunger or if, like I'm really hungry. So hold on, mama. I'm making So I've been kind of like struggling a little bit um, in regards to like, you know, figuring out if it's head hunger or if like my body is actually hungry. So I can't wait. I go to my doctor in a couple of days and then he's going to clear me for, for the pureed stage. And trust me, I can't wait because these videos, these mukbang videos, they got your girl all kind of messed up. I never wanted Alfredo so bad in my life. Chicken wings, like pizza, all the bad stuff. Is, uh, so I'm telling you, for people to tell you that the pre-op you know, those two weeks that you got to fast or however long your doctor tells you is the hardest. No, it's not because I'm going to tell you why during your pre-op, you know, you can kind of like, you know, take a snap of a, you know, take a little bite of a bread or, you know, take a little piece of the crust and all this other stuff. And, you know, you'll feel guilty about it, but you know, you'll power through it. Post-op, you can't do that. There's no cheating post-op, boo-boo. There's no way that you can just take a piece of bread because, you know, you... <laughs> You might die. You know what I'm saying? So post-up is honestly the hardest part of the whole VSG surgery. But other than that, because I don't want to make this video too long, I feel like it's one of the best decisions I've made. I'm in the process of losing some more weight and I've lost a lot of inches. And your girl is happy about that. So I think that I'm going to wrap this video up. There's nothing else. I mean, I'm still going through the motion. Um, I'll let you know what my surgeon says, and I'm still waiting on my picture. He did take a picture of my stomach, but I haven't seen him for him to give it to me. So hopefully when I see him this week, he'll give me that picture so that way I can post it on my video and on my Instagram, my next video and on my Instagram so you guys can see that. And I can see it because I want to see what my stomach looks like. So mother duty calls. I've been in here for too long. I got to go. Make sure you guys stay blessed. And thank you for watching. Make sure you guys hit the subscribe button, like my channel, and stay tuned for more.